Today I have this 2012 uh, Fragana Cascadia with a DD13 engine. Um, this truck is having problems about the check engine line coming on sometimes um, and maybe sometimes losing some kind of power. So I connect the uh, DDL software to the system and I go to the fault codes and the only code that has been active is this one it says low air flow this is the code number you can see 2631 1 um, so it's been active due to, uh, today is the 23 so so we have the troubleshooting here uh, it says all the stuff then uh, set uh, this code and uh, what is going on and, and the D-rate you see is 25% of D-rate that's right is losing some power so the troubleshooting says to check uh, for leaks on the wage gauge uh, turbo intake turbo outlet um, the sensor chair leaks or from a function of the sensor check for the EGR delta pressure sensor you can see there uh, and check uh, the pipe of the EGR and check the DOC for pressure excessive pressure so to check the pressure from the intake manifold all you have to do is to run the engine and get some spray and spray around the hoses over here and both sides I already did that and uh, this truck is not leaking any uh, air from these hoses or any area in the intake manifold or the turbocharger area um, so the next thing I'm going to do is to check the EGR delta pressure sensor so to check that I'm gonna go to uh, instrumentation here and then I'm gonna go to EGR and we have the EGR we have the reading right there it's a normal reading there is nothing bad with that reading it's normal uh, the reading to be up and down when the engine is off so now I'm going to start the engine so with the engine running I can see the EGR valve is getting active and it's active but meanwhile the EGR is closed I can see that the EGR delta pressure sensor is up as you can see it's up about it's close to one uh, PSI which is bad that means there is some kind of leak in the EGR uh, the area so uh, now I can see that there is a problem on the EGR area so what I'm gonna do first is uh, replace the delta pressure sensor uh, and I'm gonna inspect the pores of the uh, EGR delta pressure sensor uh, I'm gonna clean them to see what happened after replacing the delta pressure sensor because the first thing you gotta do is replace the delta pressure sensor because sometimes the delta uh, pressure sensor goes bad so that's what I'm gonna do so the delta pressure sensor is this one right here uh, so what I'm gonna do is to take this plug out I'm going to remove these bolts these are 10 millimeter bolts I'm gonna remove both of them and then I'm gonna remove the delta pressure sensor after removing the delta pressure sensor I can see there are some dirt around the uh, delta pressure sensor ports so what I'm gonna do is to get a small piece of metal to insert it here in this orifice to clean the ports because there could be uh, stuff inside the delta pressure sensor blocking the flow or uh, making them the flow uh, stays high something can uh, something is going on there so what I'm gonna do is clean it and replace the delta pressure sensor because the delta pressure sensor is here uh, you can see it has kind of like some uh, damage I mean like stuff it's really hard to focus here yeah you can see a lot of carbon here uh, it looks like there is some water marks but very small marks so here is the delta pressure sensor here is the part number 
I think this part number will be good for DD13 and DD15 engines. I'm not sure, but it, uh, delta pressure sensor uh, appearance is very similar for both engines. So the delta pressure sensor comes with a kit with this plug. This is for older DD13 or DD15 engines uh, to insert uh, to replace the plug uh, with the older style. The new delta pressure sensor and with these uh, bolts and uh, studs for the older version of uh, the delta pressure sensor. In this case, we don't need to use any of these because we have the, a new style of delta pressure sensor. So this plug won't be used. We just wanna use the delta pressure sensor. Okay, so after cleaning the delta pressure sensor uh, thing over here, I'm going to place the new delta pressure sensor. I wanna insert the bolts, I wanna tie them, and then I wanna place the plug. After replacing the delta pressure sensor, I'm going to start the engine. And as you can see, the reading is still the same. Eight by going up and down. That means there's something wrong with the EGR valve. Or there is something in between the tubes of the EGR, uh, um, EGR delta pressure sensor um, tubes. There is something wrong, but uh, I think there is something bad with the EGR, so I'm going to uh, check the EGR, I mean, the functionality, I wanna see. Okay, so the EGR on the DD13 engine is located in the turbo area, uh, the EGR valve in this case. That's what I wanna check, no the EGR actuator, it will be the EGR valve. So I'm going to remove this cover here using the uh, 13 millimeter uh, socket to remove these bolts. The EGR valve is this one over here. Uh, this is the EGR valve on the DD13 engine. So the EGR valve is the entire exhaust manifold. It's connected to the exhaust manifold, so there is no way you can replace the EGR valve without removing the exhaust manifold. So you have to remove the entire exhaust manifold to replace the EGR valve, which is gonna be a, a be really expensive. So what I'm gonna do in this case before doing anything else is check the EGR linkage for movement. As you can see, it moves. It's not hard and uh, it doesn't get uh, stuck. So that's all I'm gonna check at this moment because uh, it could be then the EGR is uh, stuck. But uh, in this case, the EGR is working with no problems. So um, I'm going to uh, check other stuff because the EGR valve looks in a good condition. So that means then, uh, then uh, everything in here is okay. So what I'm gonna do now is go to the EGR delta pressure sensor pipe, which is this one here. This is the pipe then connects to the EGR delta pressure sensor. I'm going to remove this mixer pipe. This is the one that goes to the intake manifold right here. So I'm gonna remove the mixer pipe completely using a 13 millimeter socket for these four bolts. There is three on this side and I'm going to remove these clamps and the hose. And I'm going to inspect the interior of the EGR uh, sensor pipe. Uh, it could be stuff on it. So it's very important to physically inspect that before doing anything else. After removing all the bolts and the clamps, all I have to do is to pull this pipe up like this. With the pie out, uh, what I'm gonna do is to check this uh, area, this venturi, uh, for any cracks, any bends, because in some occasions this can be broken, and this can cause overpressure on the D, uh, on the EGR uh, delta pressure sensor. So in this case, this one looks in a good condition. Uh, now I'm just gonna look here for the flow. Everything looks okay. I don't see any problems on the pipe. So I just gonna insert something to see if this one goes all the way to here, just to be sure. So everything looks in a good condition with this pipe. So that means that this pipe is in a perfect condition. There is nothing wrong with it. So the next step I'm going to do is to check the EGR delta pressure sensor pipe, this tube. I'm going to uh, check the interior. 
And as you can see, there is a big chunk of carbon there. Can you see it? Yeah, that's a really big amount of carbon stuck on the uh, EGR delta pressure tube. So I think we found the cause why this uh, engine is having uh, high EGR delta pressure uh, reading. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is to unplug that sensor. And I'm going to remove this ball over here and there is another ball over there. That one over there is really hard to see it, but it's over there, this one over here. So I can remove the entire delta pressure uh, sensor pipe out and clean it outside. Okay, the pipe is out. Now we can clearly see the stuff, the carbon inside the, uh, the EGR delta pressure sensor pipe. See, it's completely blocked. There's a lot of carbon in this uh, pipe. So what I'm gonna do is to clean that. Um, I'm going to remove the delta pressure sensor too and I'm gonna clean the orifice again to make sure that everything is clean. Okay, uh, uh, here I have all the stuff that I removed from the interior of the uh, delta pressure sensor pipe. You can see it's a lot of carbon. I can see some water marks over here, so uh, the EGR cooler will uh, need to be serviced soon. Uh, but anyway, uh, so I already cleaned the ports again, so the tube is completely clean. Now I can see through, as you can see. Um, so now I'm going to place the uh, delta pressure sensor bag on, on the same position. And I'm going to get new holes, a new gasket, and a new seal from, for the EGR pie mixer, the one that goes to the intake manifold. Okay, so I have the new holes over here. This is the part number. This is similar to DD15 and DD13 engines the clamps, the seal for the pipe over here, and the gasket for the EGR tube over here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna install everything together on the engine. And now when I check the EGR delta pressure sensor reading, and as you can see now it's less than one point PSI, like 0, 0.0, that's normal, that's a good reading because the EGR ball is nearly open. So that means now uh, then the EGR data pressure sensor is working properly. So this problem is fixed. That was the whole issue happening with the uh, low airflow on the intake manifold. Because when the EGR ball was opening, there was no enough pressure going to the intake manifold causing this issue. So now what I'm going to do is to let the engine uh, reach a normal operation uh, temperature to inspect the EGR pressure again. Okay, the engine temperature is around 200 degrees. Uh, so the EGR is open and we have the EGR flow. This is a normal flow. So that means then the EGR delta pressure sensor is work working perfectly with no problems. So now you can see the type of problems you can get with the EGR data pressure sensor. But this code, the low airflow code, can actually be caused with many other different reasons. But an air filter thing is uh, bad. A leak in the CAC, in the hoses, turbocharger thing is not working properly. Bad EGR, leak in the exhaust manifold, or a uh, leak in the intake manifold. So there are many causes that can cause this code then I'll show you right now. Um, if you have any questions about this video you can comment below. If you have any opinions, thoughts or if you have any experience with the problem you can share it below uh, so everybody can see different uh, problems with the EGR. Uh, if you like to send some support to my channel you can check the video description below for details how to send support to my channel. Um, so I can continue making helpful videos.
for uh, different people, mechanics, drivers, owner operators, company owners, or people that you just want to learn about drugs. So like, share, subscribe, and thank you for watching.